My name is Miles Lewis. I'm an architectural historian and I've spent my working life at the University of Melbourne, which is an embarrassing thing for any academic to have to say. I did my undergraduate studies there, I did my postgraduate research there, I taught there, and in retirement I'm still teaching there. My interest has been from the very beginning in the interaction of technology and culture. So when I was first a teacher, I taught things like computer programming and building construction, as well as the history of architecture. My postgraduate work was on the development of technical aspects of, uh, of architecture, tradition and innovation in Victorian building. And since that time, I've concentrated on areas like that. The idea that in building, um, unlike science, new ideas don't entirely displace old ones. So in science, a, uh, the invention of the digital camera means that the film camera is forgotten. The invention of a new antibiotic means that the old ones are totally replaced. But in the history of building, the same techniques get revived uh, again and again. Some of them migrate with uh, the migration of people, they're associated with ethnic uh, communities, uh, and they interact and get recycled all the time. An example of this is the Marseille roof tile, the French terracotta tile, which was exported from Marseille all over the world. So, as you might expect, it's found in uh, French-influenced areas like North Africa, but it's also found in Latin America, and it's found in Australia. But it's almost unknown in France. So it comes about that this tile, which is little known in France, becomes the standard roof form in Australia, not just as a terracotta tile, but imitated in concrete and metal and other materials. Uh, and it's because of factors to do with trade and economics. So all these things are part of the history uh, and the economic history of, of the world, not just part of scientific or technical advancement. My first book, uh, Victorian Primitive, was on um, the primitive architecture, the vernacular architecture, which people build using their own resources, using bark and split timber and so on, um, whatever's available to them in their pioneering situation. Later on, my book, uh, Architecture, attempted to break down more sophisticated architecture in terms of the components that make up the building and um, what, um, what factors uh, influence those components. More recently still, I've written upon architectural drawings, architectural drawings being the means by which the idea of the architect are translated into the physical form of the, of the building. And I've collected books, um, uh, especially um, uh, overseas texts on building technology, a number of French ones on issues from the design of chimneys to prefabrication to decorative aspects, uh, all these things which reflect um, how the architect learns from the past and feeds this material into uh, current practice.